Hey viewers, got something new today. This is something I've been wanting to do for a while and I'm finally getting around to doing it. And I'm going to show you how to upgrade a bike from a 6 speed to a 7 speed rear end here. So this is a 12 speed road bike and I'm going to upgrade it to be a 14 speed. And I'm going to show you uh, all, all the steps you need to do that. Now before I get into the nitty gritty of doing the actual work, let me kind of walk you through some of the stuff that's going to need to be done uh, in this process. Now the most obvious thing is you're going to need to replace the freewheel. This is a six speed freewheel and I'm going to need to swap this out and put a seven speed freewheel in there. Um, if your bike happens to have a cassette, that might be a little bit more involved. I don't know all the details about swapping a, uh, which I think for six speed you might have had a Uniglide cassette and I don't know all the ins and outs of Uniglide cassettes whether you can just uh, get a seven speed Uniglide pop that on or I don't know you might have to change the free hub I don't know all the details of that free wheel is going to be a, a lot easier a lot simpler so that's why I'm going with that um, one thing to be keep in mind is a seven speed free wheel is going to be a little bit wider and there's a potential that it might rub against the frame in there, in which case you're, you might have to put a spacer in there, like about a one millimeter spacer in there, so I have those. Now the derailleur. You're going to need a Shimano SIS derailleur. Um, that is not too difficult. There's, you're not going to have to have a seven speed SIS derailleur. You're just going to need an SIS derailleur. The main thing about the derailleur is it needs to be able to um, go the full distance and I think most modern uh, derailleurs will will be able to go the full width of that so that's not that big of a deal. Now you may need to replace the chain. Um, if you have a chain that is specific to be a, for a six speed it can be a little bit wider and will not be compatible with the seven speed freewheel. Um, so you, you'll have to swap out the chain. Um, this chain here, I recently, the, the chain that was on this bike was all just uh, worn out, so I replaced the chain, and fortunately this chain is already compatible for the seven speed, so I don't need to swap the chain on this. Now the next thing is the shifters. Um, the uh, left shifter, that goes for the uh, chain rings, and that is not too critical. Uh, this has got uh, two chain rings, and so um, this is already gonna, that's not really gonna change, even though I'm gonna change with the whole set. The critical one is the right one. This is a six speed indexed uh, shifter, and I'm gonna have to replace it with a seven speed index shifter. Um, basically, I just need to swap those out. Plus, then all the, the shift cables, and then you get everything tuned up. So, let's go ahead and get started on this. Now I know people are going to ask about other conversions. Going from 6 to 7 is pretty easy because the axle width is the same. If you're going to try to go from a 5 speed rear end up to 6 or 7, the problem is you're going to have to spread the chain stays out in order to fit the larger wheel. If you have a, a, a seven, 6 or 7 speed bike and you are going to try to fit in like an 8 speed, 9 speed, 10 speed wheel back here, Again, you're going to spread these chain stays, and that gets really complicated with a steel frame. You can do it, you can bend these out, and uh, you have to worry about like uh, bending them evenly, you have to worry about the chain line, everything like that. Um, if you have an aluminum frame, that gets even more complicated because you do not want to bend the aluminum frame while it's cold. You want to heat up the metal, in which case you're also going to probably have to repaint the frame. and. All that gets just way more complicated, way beyond the scope of this video, and I think there is probably more complicated than most people are, are even going to want to attempt. So just go ahead and stick from go from six to seven. It's pretty simple. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and remove the rear wheel. There, like that. Okay, I need to take the free wheel off, so I'm going to remove the skewer. Don't lose the spring. I have a freewheel tool that fits this freewheel. It's a standard little Shimano thing. And then I have a breaker bar with a one inch socket that'll fit right on the park tool. They're like that. And break that loose. Then I can go ahead and just turn this guy off.
just like that. And there's the, the six-speed freewheel. Then I have the seven-speed freewheel here. And I can go ahead and just turn this on. Get started. Let's spin it on. Get the tool back in there. And then I'm going to use this to tighten it on. I don't have to really muscle this thing on. It's just like that. I'll put the skewer back on and I'll check to see if it's going to fit in there without rubbing, if I'm going to need a spacer or not. I'll go ahead and refit the wheel. Now what I want to check is to see if the chain, when it's on the very smallest cog here, is going to rub on the frame. So I can just get it down on there and see if everything looks good there. And it looks good. It's not rubbing there. If it was rubbing there, it's very close, and I could still put a spacer in there, is that I would put a spacer uh, on the end of the axle that would go between the uh, lock nut and the uh, dropout. Or I could even take the lock nut off, put it out, the spacer on there, and put the lock nut back on. But this looks okay. It's tight, but it look, looks like it's going to work as is. Now, fortunately, I don't need to replace the derailleur. The rear derailleur is a Shimano light action uh, derailleur. And doing some research on uh, the internet, I found that this actually is an SIS derailleur already. So this should work as is. I'll, I just have to make some adjustments on it uh, for the shifting, but this should work as is. I don't need to replace that. And as I said, the chain is already a seven speed compatible chain, so I don't need to replace that either. Okay, I need to remove the old uh, shifters. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut these cables since I'm going to be replacing them anyway. Then just use a screwdriver to remove them. And make sure you don't lose any parts in there because you may want to use these for something else. those parts off. Just give them a tap on there to kind of get them loosened off like remove those. Now, I don't know if this is the rule or what but on these six-speed shifters um, where it says you can shift, switch these between uh, friction and SIS and where it says SIS it just says SIS set and that's all it says and on the shifters I'm replacing the, uh, these with these are Shimano 105 uh, shifters, but where it says here, it says SIS, and then there's a seven there. So I think if it doesn't have a number there, they probably might be six speed shifters. And if it has a seven there, then there's gonna be uh, seven speed SIS shifters. That's just something to kind of be aware of. So if you're shopping for shifters, which a good place to buy things like this is on eBay. I buy a lot of my parts on eBay. So, that will help you identify seven speed SIS shifters.
Okay, before installing the uh, new shifter cable, I need to remove the old shifter cable. So I'll just go ahead and lo loosen this little lock nut there. I pull the old shifter cable through, like that. Okay, before I hook up the cables, I want to go ahead and adjust the limiting screws on this rear derailleur here. Since this small cog is now farther out than the uh, small cog on the six-speed uh, freewheel, Right now, as I pedal, it's trying to go up, so I need to adjust the limiting screw, just find the, the H screw, the high screw, and loosen it up a little bit until it's not trying to go up onto that uh, next cog. There, that looks pretty good like that. I can always adjust it some more later. Okay, now I need to run the cable, the shift cable here. This is for the rear derailleur. this through here like this bring this down here like this just the barrel adjuster all the way in then maybe just turn it out just one turn get the cable all set up into here like this into the the part here Get the cable as tight as I can without pulling the derailleur. And then tighten this down. And then I'm gonna cut a little bit of this cable off for now, just kinda get it out of the way. Now I can start uh, testing the shifting and adjusting the shifting. So go up one notch, one notch, one notch, one notch, and one notch, and last notch. Down, 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 down. That looks like it's pretty good. So I'm going to clamp this down nice and tight. Like that. Trim the cable. Put a crimp end on. Boom. Okay, the hard part's done. Now I just need to uh, do the front uh, shifter and derailleur. So run the cable through the shifter. Like that. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the cable from, the old cable from the uh, front derailleur. So loosen this little clamp bolt here. Then pull out the old cable. Bring the new cable up and get it seated in there. Pull it tight. Tighten the cable or the little cable lock bolt thing here. I'm going to shorten the cable just so it doesn't get in the way as I'm testing it. Then I can pedal and then try shifting. Make sure it goes up onto there and then shift down. Goes down. Shift up. Shift down. Shift the back to the middle, like a middle ring there so it doesn't rub. Up. Down. That works really nicely. Now I'll just shorten this cable here. Put a crimp end on, like that. I'm done with that. And there, now I have seven speeds on here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All successfully indexing. And that is how you upgrade a bike from a six speed to a seven speed. I hope that helps. Hope you found this interesting. If you have found this interesting and useful, please click the like button. I always appreciate getting likes on my videos. 
And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. You can click the big subscribe button here and that you'll see uh, new videos as they come out. Anyway, I hope this helped. Thank you very much for watching.